Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today on this episode of Stitch Dictionary, we are going to be stitching up this lovely crochet block stitch. This is a very easy stitch to master. You just need to know single crochet, double crochet, um, and some chain stitches. You can see here what the front and back of our swatch will look like. Again, I did an 11 by 11 size swatch. Um, for my stitch dictionary throw that I will be making from all of my swatches from all of the stitch dictionary episodes that are to come very soon. So let's go ahead and get going on this easy block stitch tutorial. So you will need some yarn. I am using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick and I'm using two different colors. You definitely want two contrasting colors. I have Wild Strawberry here that's this lovely pink color and then this ivory is called Stardust. It has a little bit of a shine to it. And then you'll need your corresponding hook size which is an N or P 10 millimeter hook. That is what my yarn recommends, so that's what I'm using. You can use any kind of yarn and make this stitch. You don't have to make the size swatch I do, and you don't have to use chunky yarn as I am, but it's just easier for you to see the stitches and see what I'm doing if I use chunky yarn. So that's why I chose to go ahead and work with the Woolies quick and thick and quick today. So go ahead and get started with your main color. You will need a main color and an accent color. You can have several accent colors if you like, but I chose to keep this a two-tone kind of look. So you're going to start with a slip knot, get your slip knot on your hook in your main color, and go ahead and start chaining. So here with the block stitch, you're going to need to chain a multiple of three, and I will be chaining 24, but you should be aware that we are going to be skipping three chains when we go to start round one. So I will only have a 21 stitch wide swatch. So keep that in mind when choosing your multiple of three, we will be skipping that last multiple of three. If you need any help with any of the basic stitches, chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet, any of that, um, go ahead and go back to my main channel page and you will find a playlist there um, called the Crochet Beginner Series and I have individual videos for all of the basic stitches and you can find everything you need there. So now I've just about got my foundation chain finished. Again, I will be chaining 24 is my multiple of three. Any multiple of three will work splendidly. And now starting with our first row of stitches, we are going to double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook. So counting down, there's one, two, three, and then we need to go in the fourth one, the very next stitch. So there is four. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. That's our first double crochet. We can see how that edge should be looking. Now we're going to just go ahead and double crochet in the following stitch as well, just as we did before. And we can see now how the first couple of stitches are working up. And we're just going to keep double crocheting all the way down our uh, foundation chain, working one stitch in each chain along the foundation. So after we've done one double crochet in each stitch, you should be looking um, something like this. You should have just an even row of double crochets. Now I'm going to change color to my accent color, and I'm going to do that by pulling up a loop, inserting my accent color, leaving a tail long enough to weave in. I'm going to tie it onto the loop, pull it tight, and then I'm going to slide that knot over to the right side of the loop. Now reinsert your hook, tighten your loop back down, and now instead of pulling up your working yarn of the first color, you're going to work with the working yarn of your accent color. Tighten back down your first color, and we're just chaining one and turning. So after you chain one and turn, we're now just going to continue to work with our accent color. You can go ahead and snip your uh, main color, that white. Just snip a tail long enough to weave in. Now working with our accent color, we're going to single crochet in that very first stitch. So the same stitch as your chain, single crochet. We can see how that should look. Make sure your tails are nice and tight there. Now we're going to chain two. So there is one and two. We're going to skip two, one, two. Work in the third stitch. 
So we're skipping over two, working in the third, and making another single crochet. So we can see here that with the chain two and skip two, what that's doing is creating a gap. So we're going to chain two again, skip two again, one, two, and single crochet in the third. We're gonna repeat this all the way down, single crochet, chain two, skip two. Um, and you can see how this should be looking. Just go ahead and complete that all the way down. You should wind up with a single crochet in your very last stitch of the row. As long as you did the multiple in the beginning of this video correctly, no matter what your multiple is, you should wind up with a single crochet in the last stitch. Now here you can see after this row, I'm changing color once again to our main color. Same color change technique that I used prior, pulling up the working yarn of our main color. We're gonna chain up two this time. So chain up two and three, chain three and turn. And now we're going to double crochet in that top of that single crochet in our accent color. So in the very first stitch, we're gonna double crochet. And then comes our chain two space. What we're gonna do in this chain two is we're gonna make two double crochets right into the chain space itself, not into the chain stitch. Just go right into the chain space and make two double crochets. So there is one and two. You can see here that I'm inserting my hook just into the open gap, not into the stitch itself. So now that we've made two double crochets into that chain space, we're gonna just repeat this all the way down. So we're gonna essentially double crochet in every spot that is available to us. So we're going to double crochet in the top of each of those single crochet stitches, which is what's coming up next for me now. Double crochet in the top of that single crochet from the row below. And then work two double crochets in the chain two space. And two. Go ahead and repeat this all the way down the length of your work. You can see how this uh, is looking now. What this is going to do is it's going to kind of hide the accent color yarn for the uh, chain two skip two gap and it's only going to expose the accent yarn in those single crochet stitches. So now we've finished all the way down. Again you should end with a double crochet in that single crochet spot and we're going to change yarn color again and we're just going to keep repeating these last two rows, rows two and three over and over and over. Repeat row two, row three, row two, row three, um, until your work is as long as you'd like it to be. You can keep going with this um, to make a really long scarf. You could make an afghan with this stitch. You could really do anything. It creates a nice, thick, um, almost woven looking fabric. It's a very uh, detailed, intricate looking stitch without a whole lot of expertise or complicated uh, work involved. So you can see here I'm working on my first repeat of our row two, row three repeat. And I'm beginning again with my single crochet, my chain two, skip two. Single crochet, chain two, skip two. And I'm repeating all the way down, just like I did with my first row of the accent color, row two. So I'm repeating row two here. And I'm just going to keep repeating. These single crochets should line up in a perfect line. It should be linear. They should not be scattered or um, uh, kind of all over the place. They should be very symmetrical and lined up. And if they're not lined up, you can assume that your stitching has gone awry somewhere. So here we can see my swatch is just about finished. I just have all of these ends to weave in from all of my color changes. So that is kind of the one drawback of this stitch. You do have a lot of color changes every row, so you do have a lot of ends to weave in. But in my opinion, it's totally worth um, how this stitch comes out looking. Here's what the back will look like. Um, so a very nice finished front and back if you were to use this for a project that is exposed on both sides. This is the beautiful crochet block stitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stitch Dictionary. Thanks for watching.